This was created entirely with an AI image generator. No drawing, no design skills needed. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your own AI comic step by step. Ready? Let's get started. Step one, create your image prompt. Go to ChatGPT and type this prompt. I want to use Nano Banana to generate a short comic with around six, seven scenes that has strong emotional highs and lows based on. Then type in your story. If you don't have an idea yet, just ask ChatGPT for help before you do this. For example, I'll write mine like this. A story where a firefighter saves a little girl from a burning building, but later realizes the girl is actually a ghost. After that, Paste the rest of the prompts below your story. These are important to make sure everything runs correctly. Now hit send, and ChatGPT will start generating prompts for your comic images. Once it's done, copy the first prompt, and we'll move on to the next step. Step two, download HitPaw Edemacore. Second, download HitPaw Edemacore. It's an amazing all-in-one creator packed with powerful AI tools. If you don't have it yet, just click the link in the description below. Once it's installed, open it up. And let's move on to the final step. Step three, generator AI comics. Click new project, then go to AI image. Next, choose image generator. You can pick from text to image, reference image, or image restyle. Here we are gonna use text to image. Choose Google Nano Banana model. It's great for creating highly consistent characters. Paste the prompt you prepared earlier. Set the output quantity and hit generate. And you've got your first comic image ready. Then go to reference image. Upload the image you just generated. Paste the second prompt from ChatGPT. Set the output quantity and hit generate again. Repeat this process. Upload the previous image each time to generate the next panel until your comic is complete. And here's one thing you should notice. To keep all the characters consistent, make sure to upload the picture with all of them as a reference for the next scene. Also, if any image doesn't look like what you want, simply right-click it and choose re-edit. Try adjusting your prompt until you get the result you want. Now let's take a look at the final result. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss a new upload. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.